Hey, guys welcome back to the channel Canada Immigration. We will talk about Canada Immigration New Changes. Canada announces five new measures to overhaul its immigration system. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for the latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. The Canadian government has announced new measures to modernize its immigration system and also ease the country's growing backlog. We'll keep finding ways to modernize and digitalize our immigration system, giving clients the experience they expect, and reinforcing Canada as a destination of choice around the world, Canada's Immigration Minister Sean Fraser said in a tweet. As of August 22, Canada welcomed over 300,000 permanent residents to Canada, surpassing the milestone earlier than in any previous year. The country has set a target of 431,000 permanent residents for 2022. Here are the five steps Canada is undertaking to ease application processing. Exemption from medical exams. In a bid to cut wait times, permanent and temporary residence applicants who are already in Canada and meet certain criteria from the immigration medical examination requirement. Simplifying this process in the coming weeks will impact approximately 180,000 clients by helping them save time and money on the medical examination process and reducing wait times on their applications, the Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC said in a press release. Details and criteria for exemption are yet to be released. Expanding the scope of virtual interviews. To quickly process family reunification applications during the pandemic, IRCC began conducting telephone and video interviews with sponsors and applicants, welcoming more than 69,000 spouses, partners and children in 2021. By modernizing our services and adding support where needed, we have now returned to the pre-pandemic service standard of 12 months for all new spousal sponsorship applications, the IRCC said. To provide spousal sponsorship applicants with increased flexibility, Canada will continue to offer virtual interviews where possible. It will also be expanding the availability of virtual interviews at overseas offices, including through a pilot project allowing spousal sponsorship and other clients to take part in virtual interviews at some visa application centers rather than having to travel to a visa office. Online Applications for Permanent Residents IRCC will begin transitioning to 100% digital applications for most permanent residence programs on September 23, with alternative formats available for people who require accommodations. A majority of permanent residence applicants already have access to the online application portal. Application Status Tracker in February 2022, IRCC launched a new application status tracker that allowed permanent residence applicants, sponsors and their representatives in the spouse, partner and dependent child categories to more easily check their application status online. By spring 2023, the service will be, be available to sever more permanent residence and temporary residence programs. Also, the Citizenship Application Status Tracker introduced in May 2021 will be expanded to include access to representatives this month. Starting this fall, IRCC will publish forward-looking estimates of how long it will take to process an application, increasing predictability for applicants. Modernizing the Citizenship Program in August 2021, IRCC launched a tool that allowed some citizenship applications to be submitted online. The tool lets groups of adults over the age of 18 to apply together. IRCC intends to expand this tool to offer online applications for minors under the age of 18 by the end of the year. Canada exceeded its citizenship goals for 2021-2022, with over 217,000 new Canadian citizens. So far this fiscal year, from April 1st to July 31st, Canada has welcomed over 116,000 new citizens, compared to 35,000 in the same period last fiscal year. On November 26, 2020, it became one of the first countries in the world to offer citizenship testing online. By July 31, 2022, over 406,000 people had taken virtual citizenship tests. Hopefully, the details and information presented in this video are helpful. So what is your opinion about today's information, definitely tell us by commenting. And on which topic we should make the next video, you must tell by commenting.
We will try to reach you with the latest information related to Canadian immigration. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in the next new immigration video. Thank you.